All right, got a quick story here before we part ways this week. The new school year also means a new crop of first-year teachers ready to enter the profession and make a positive impact on students. Love this time of year for that. And earlier this month, Ed Week asked veteran teachers to give advice to new educators starting this fall. But there was a twist. The advice they could give had to be five words or less. Now, some veterans use their five words to impart the importance of preparation while also being ready to adapt to changing circumstances. The bits of, of advice in this area included... Be prepared, firm, and consistent. Set boundaries and time limits. But be flexible and open-minded. Always have a backup plan. Other veteran teachers stress that new teachers should seek support from the K-12 community. Five-word advice in this area included seek guidance from veteran teachers, learn from an experienced mentor, and perhaps most important, custodians are your best friends. Oh, I was thinking, yeah, make friends. <laughs> <laughs> with the cafeteria. <laughs> yeah. Super important. Now, finally, a few veterans imparted some five word pieces of advice that were a bit more hilarious, but nonetheless quite important. So the first one here, ignore we need volunteers for. Oh, yes. Don't sweat the small stuff. Pee at every little chance. Oh, my goodness. Yes. And uh, perhaps most important, locate the closest happy hour. <laughs> uh, I was um, thinking find who makes the copies <laughs> mm, yes yeah, don't forget the copier code ah there you <laughs> so, go very very important so uh thought we could impart some of this advice to the new teachers and of course wish them the best of luck we got a couple minutes here if you guys can think of any other five word pieces we're, of we're, advice we're just kind of rolling I love it I'm <laughs> All right, um, let's see. How many of these can we do? We'll haiku it out. <laughs> I was just thinking it's like doing a haiku, yeah. Uh, I got yeah. I I got I got five I got three words and two letters. How about that? Actually, okay. it, it's a, okay. It, Go actually, for it's it. It's an abbreviation, so it's perfect. Be nice to IT. Ah, of <laughs> course. Be nice to IT. Okay. Uh, speaking from personal experience there, I can uh I, I love that. Okay. Um Billions yeah, a, wrong today, millions tomorrow. Billions. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see. Yeah. You're getting better. It's okay. If you make a billion mistakes today, yep, tomorrow yep. you'll make less, fewer. <laughs> 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 it's okay. We're all going to make those mistakes. That's right. Um, let's see. I, 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 I try to make this six words into five words. Uh, you're better than you think, you know, because a lot of these first year teachers, yes, you know, exactly. Like, you know, you, especially those first few weeks where you're really struggling, like you think, oh, I'm the worst at this. And you're really doing so much better than you are. And like the imposter syndrome is just sort of taking over. You're better than you think teachers. And we're so excited to have you in this profession. If you have five word pieces of advice to share with the educators out there, we'd love for you to share it with us. Tweet at us at academic media with the hashtag big ideas in education. We'd love very much to hear from you. And we love to be back here. We're so, so excited to have you with us again. We will see you next week here on big ideas in education. Thanks everyone.